truthful. We said there's been enough death and enough injury. Civilians have been the main victims, and that's criminal. It's against international law. But the ceasefire isn't the peace, and it isn't the solution. Something else changed this week. The European Parliament, for the first time, voted to support Palestine's bid to become a UN non-member terrorist state. We said that this is an important step in making Palestinian claims more visible, stronger, and more effective. And that's what we're asking the 27 governments within the European Union to do. And that includes the government here. So on the, on the 28th, the day before that claim is put in the UN, you know one of the things to ask for. But I'll tell you, it hasn't changed. The siege has to end. It failed. It was about blocking arms and weapons. That hasn't happened. What it brought has been normal life. It's been hope, and it's dangerous to block hope for a people. So we believe that the end, you can only have peace when the border issue is resolved. The Palestinian people have a state, a state free from illegal settlement, a state free from occupation, and a state where people are not imprisoned by a wall, but are free. Free, free Palestine. I've got a message.